Welcome to Maths with Jade. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the Golden Ratio. The Golden Ratio is a unique mathematical relationship between two numbers. And the best way to demonstrate these two numbers is to take a line and split it up just over halfway. We'll call the first part A and the second part B. The Golden Ratio occurs when A divided by B, the ratio, is equal to this irrational number that goes on forever with no repeats. And this is our golden ratio. For ease and simplicity though, we usually round it to 1.618 and we give it the Greek letter phi. Right now this might seem irrelevant to your life, but I'm going to show you that that simply isn't the case. Here's a rectangle. I'm going to split this rectangle into the golden ratio. In that process, we've created a rectangle and a square. So now I'm going to take the rectangle and split that into the golden ratio. And now I'm going to take the new rectangle again, split it into the golden ratio, and I'm going to keep splitting the new rectangle into the golden ratio again and again. I'm now going to draw an arc from corner to corner of each of the squares that were created when doing this and I end up with something that we call the golden spiral. And if this doesn't look familiar to you, then I don't know where you've been living. Because we see it in so many things, including shells, plant life and vine leaves, the human face. We even see it in the weather forecast. And if that hasn't impressed you, we can see it in galaxies. Incredible, right? It makes you wonder, is our reality by design Humans are amazing things. And our minds look for patterns to make sense of the world. So we naturally see the beauty in things that are split in the golden ratio. A good photographer will use the golden ratio when framing a photograph. And look at these logos. Are big companies using mathematics to hack our brains? Using the golden ratio in design is nothing new. It has been used throughout time by us, mankind. Take a look at ancient pyramids, for example. You'll notice if you were to take the ratio of the base, the heights and the slanted length, it would be in the golden ratio. And you'll find this in architecture, new and old. What might surprise you more is that some people use the golden ratio to predict markets. And yes, even cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Which begs the question, can mathematics make you rich? This number, 1.618, gets even more interesting. When there was a man called Leonardo Fibonacci, and he pondered one day about population growth. He considered what would happen if we start with a pair of baby rabbits and see month by month how the rabbit population would grow. At the beginning of month one, there is one pair of rabbits too young to reproduce, so at the beginning of month two, there is still only one pair of rabbits. However, now those pair of rabbits are adult rabbits and can reproduce. This means that at the beginning of month three, there are two pairs of rabbits. Obviously, this is a very simplified model, which presumes each pair of rabbits born consists of one boy and one girl and completely ignores the problem of interbreeding. Anyhow, in month four, our original rabbits will have some more baby rabbits and our baby rabbits will become adult rabbits given a total of three rabbits. Now they can reproduce, so they have baby rabbits and so do our original pair. And a pair of babies become a pair of adults. This gives a total of five pairs of rabbits. Now all our reproductive pairs can have more babies giving us a total of eight pairs, but don't forget that some of our baby rabbits will now become adult rabbits able to reproduce. Now we have a total of five adult rabbits able to reproduce a new pair of baby rabbits. And if we count all that up, we get 13 pairs of rabbits. And at the same time, some of them become adult rabbits. I'm gonna save myself the headache of drawing any more out because we can actually just evaluate the next term in the sequence by looking at the previous terms. Because the first two terms, one plus one, make two, my next term. And then the next two terms, one and two, make three, which is the next term. And then two plus three makes five. And then three plus five makes eight. And then five plus eight makes 13. Eight plus 13 makes 21. 13 and 21 makes the next term 34, 21 and 34 make 55, and we can continue this 
for forever if we wanted to. You might have already guessed that we do not call this population growth. We call it the Fibonacci sequence. Surprise, surprise. I know what some of you are thinking. What's that got to do with the golden ratio? Well, a lot, apparently. So here's our Fibonacci sequence. Let's remind ourselves of the golden ratio. It's 1.618. And now let's take the ratio of consecutive terms. And another quick reminder, to find the ratio, we do A divided by B. So is 55 is our A and 34 is our B? Oh look, I get the golden ratio. Let's try it with another two numbers, 89 and 55. Oh, the golden ratio. Let's try another two numbers. Oh, and again, the golden ratio. It will actually get more and more accurate to more decimal places the higher up we go. Now let's just have a look at our golden spiral again. If we were to look more carefully at the areas and lengths of the squares in these diagrams, then we're going to find the Fibonacci numbers. It kind of gives you the weird feeling that these seemingly random and unconnected things are actually, in fact, all connected. Because just like our golden spiral and golden ratio, these Fibonacci numbers are also everywhere. For example, the amount of seed spirals in a sunflower or should I say golden spirals in a sunflower, are Fibonacci numbers. It's true of the amount of petals too. And the same is found in pine cones also, as well as most natural life. Here is a typical tree that represents how a typical tree grows. If we split this tree up into even intervals and then count how many branches there are in each interval, we will find that in the first interval there is one branch, the second interval, one branch, the third interval, two, then three, then five, then eight, then thirteen, the Fibonacci sequence. And as we get higher up, if we were to divide one interval by the other, we will end up with the golden ratio. And now you know what the golden ratio is, I wonder how often you'll see it as you go about your life. Weekly? Daily? Hourly? You tell me. This has been Maths with Jade. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on content. Share this video and all comments are welcome below. See you next time.